it is 10 o'clock on Wednesday, July 22nd. And uh, obviously, uh, we're not on trail anymore. I uh, just wanted to give everybody a breakdown on what happened um, uh, leading up to Creek, Colorado, uh, the choice that uh, I had to make to get off the trail, what that means for the cowboy philanthropist and Allie, um, what we've been doing, and, um, and where we go from here. Uh, so probably the last video that uh, was posted um, was uh, was me making it to Creek, Colorado, which was a personal goal of mine. Uh, obviously, I wanted to get all the way to Canada, um, but unfortunately, um, COVID had a big hand in shutting us down. Uh, no one got sick, no one was injured, uh, anything like that. Uh, but what happened was um, uh, majority of our gear um, that wasn't on our, our back uh, and the majority of our food was uh, was misplaced by the Postal Service um, and uh, as anybody will, will attest to that if you're on a trail those resupply boxes are your lifeline and it was touch and go with these towns on whether they were going to have enough to resupply uh, and nine times out of ten it was very expensive to resupply so being on a budget and budget minded, um, when we left Pagosa Springs, they had lost several boxes. When we got to Creed, they had lost several boxes. So it became a business decision at that point. Do we spend a bunch of money um, to get to the next place and the next place and the next place with hopes that they would find that, uh, find all our gear and all our resupply boxes? Um, or do we, um, we crunch the numbers and say, well, if they do find it, then I'm doubled up and that's going to hurt my budget for the rest of the trip. Um, so after talking to Allie, uh, after, after talking to my support team, uh, we decided the smartest thing to do is to come home, um, regroup, uh, hopefully those boxes come sometime soon and, um, and get to work uh, rebuilding uh, on our funds. Uh, what does that mean? That means that um, uh, for myself, that journey is not over. We're going to keep doing philanthropic things. We're going to we're going to keep donating our time and our efforts uh, to the people out there that deserve um, our support, especially Allie, uh, including Allie. Um, and does it mean we're over for the trail? No, it doesn't. Um, we're going to regroup and get things put together. And as Allie told me, she goes back, you got 2000 miles left. Uh, you could do 200 miles a year for the next 10 years and finish. That's not bad. I would be, you know, 60 by the time that happens or excuse me, 50. Um, but anyways, um, so it's not over. Even in the middle of all that and the anxiety that I had and the feelings of failure that I had and still have right now, Allie was very, very supportive of what I, and when I say I, I'm, I typically say what we have done. Uh, you and I, all the supporters that watch these videos, all the supporters that have donated to her, all of them that have bought shirts from us, um, and all of that we have done. And she was very supportive and very uh, understanding of where we were at and the pickle that we were in. Now, with that being said, we're, we're, we're not over with. We've got uh, Allie and I have already been brainstorming on things that we could do for her and others in the future. We're going to think locally um, and, and act nationally, um, but we're going to try to support as many people as we possibly can. Uh, we've already been doing a lot of work um, for uh, projects and opportunities in the future that will significantly impact um, 
the, the youth of Texas uh, and, and those parties that really need some support right now um, during this uncertain time. I hate to just bash on Corona because um, it's not exactly that. Uh, politics and stock market and the job situation. It's, uh, it's a perfect storm, but we're going to keep going because, um, you know, the people in need, their need doesn't stop just because the world shuts down. Uh, so we're going to keep going. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. And you don't, you never know, maybe, maybe tomorrow I win the lottery and, uh, I'll go back and get on trail once I, you know, take a couple trips around the lake in my yacht. I don't know. I'm just being funny. But um, so anyway, so yeah, we got we got shut down on trail, uh, but but it's not the end for us. And it's not the end for Allie, and it's not the end uh, for the for the cowboy philanthropists and all of us. So with that said, um, I'm going to be signing off for a while. I want to thank each and every one of you guys uh, for watching and supporting Allie. Uh, I'll keep trying to do videos like this when I find something that's inspiring. Um, and I look forward to, to getting in touch with everyone that supported Allie and supported us and, and giving them a big thank you. Um, we sure do appreciate it. Adios. Mm -hmm.